Hello guys, this is Eric from ET Figure Unboxing and in this video, we're going to take a look at the SH Figure Arts Renma Satome. So I'm not too familiar with the series, I was very very young back then. I watched a portion of it, like, but I was like 5 years old, I barely remember anything. So here's the left side of the box, and here's the right side of the box, and here's the back of the box. So it does look like he came with a lot of stuff, like there's a stick, there's weapons, and here are some like famous scene, and this is like, I think when he first turned into a girl. Also for the record, when he touches hot water, he turns into a girl, in case you didn't know. Um, yeah, let's take a look at what's inside the box. Alright, so here we have the figure straight out of the box, and still in the plastic packaging. As you guys can see, he came with a lot of stuff. There's like three interchangeable phases, four pairs of hands, a sword, a stick, and some hot water. He even came with a personal Tamashi stage. Hmm. Hopefully they include that for all the upcoming figures. I personally would prefer them to release the guy version first, but you know, I'm pretty sure they know their market. I'm not gonna question Bandai's market decision, because it's all about business and making money. And let's jump straight into the figure itself. Alright, so here we have the figure itself, and as expected from Bandai, the sculpt is really, really good. My only issue, if I have to say, is that I feel like the head is a little big. But I think that's just how she looks like in anime. Like, it could just be me. And I'm pretty sure they did all the math right. You know, like, look at all the boobs and then, you know, the skinny arms. She looks great. And some people might have problem with this kind of joints, but I'm personally okay with it. But yeah, let's jump straight into articulation and see what she can do. Alright, so before we take a look at her articulation, I want to show you guys her hair. Like, it has a lot of shading on it. It looks really, really good. I like it. It looks better in person. It always looks better in person. Alright, so here is um some ball joint on the hand, and then here's bicep swivel. Here's bicep curl. And ab crunch can move that much, lean that much back, and then that much forward. And here's some head articulation, and she's using the older hip. I'm not sure why they went for the older hip. They probably made this mold a long time ago, and they just didn't want to change it. But you know, it's really, really useful, and I can see this working very well with, especially with a kung fu character. You know, she can do all, basically all kinds of kick. You you imagine like it's it's really good. Yeah, she can do like Itachi kick or like I imagine Rock Lee will work very well with this kind of like joints too but I don't know they do very very well with the Bruce Lee so I don't know yeah they probably just didn't bother change it and one thing to note is that she feels like a hybrid between Sailor Moon figures and Dragon Ball Z figures like she has the lower body of um SH Vigar's Dragon Ball figures and upper body of Sailor Moon figures because it's really skinny and yeah that's very cool and let's check out the accessories All right, so for the accessories I have her with the alternative face and this is the phase where she's like, you know, smiling and looking at left. That's left, right? Yeah, that's left. Yeah, that's really, really cool. It's pretty cute. I don't I don't want to use the word cool all the time. And this this is the Kung Fu posing hand and she came with a pair of it, and that's really cool. I'm using cool again. And you know, of course she can do the push-up. Yeah. Alright, so the next phase we have is the um like kind of scared or like shocked what the fuck phase. <laughs> And she also came with these awkward giraffe um, hand. And according to the box, this is how you're supposed to use it. Like, they feature her, like, you know, just kind of like jumping and scaring off, like, what the fuck. And yeah, that's pretty cool because we usually have those very serious Dragon Ball Z interchangeable parts, but this is a really good change of pace. Ah! Okay. That's right, really so the last phase she came with is my personal favorite. It's like some kind of serious phase when she's about to fight. And this one looks like she's about to do like Brazilian Jiu Jitsu or something like, you know, I can throw you or whatever. And th these are the pair of display open hands and that, that's really cool. And I don't know what else she can do with it though, but yeah, that's really cool. I like it. Alright, so she also came with a pair of hands for holding the accessories. And this is the first accessory she came with. It's like the hot water she used in the show, you know, you just pour hot water on her and on him and she'll become a her but that's why it's called Renma one half right because it's half a girl half a guy but yeah this is I'm really surprised it's really heavy like this is a whole piece of plastic like the middle is probably filled with plastic it's not um hollow or something yeah that's pretty cool all right so here we have him holding the um hot water or like the pot and I just realized something really stupid 
He's supposed to turn into a girl when he like touches cold water, and he uses hot water to turn back into a guy. I can't believe I got that mixed up, but I'm gonna make that very clear right now. I fucked up. All right, so I don't recommend using this because it's really, really heavy. I feel like over time, it's gonna strain the hand a little too much, so I'm probably never gonna use this again. It's a cool gadget, but I'm probably not gonna use it. So we have her holding the sword, and that looks pretty good. But I gotta mention, it's kind of hard to put it in. Like, this sword is a little too hard for his hand. You gotta, like, kind of be really careful about it. And it's gonna, like, stretch the hand over time. I, I wish they came with another pair of hands just for holding the sword, but, you know, I'd be asking too much. But yeah, that, that's right, So cool. lastly, he came with these um, Kung Fu stick, and it's just like a golden stick. It looks really, really good. I'm just gonna put it on right here, because I think it should be easy. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Just slide that in. And that looks really, really cool. All right, that's it for the accessories and time for some size comparison. All right, so for the size comparison, I think the most important one is probably Bruce Lee for, you know, she's a Kung Fu character and Bruce Lee is already pretty short and she's even shorter. So that makes me wonder if the guy version is that short because I don't actually remember the anime if, you know, they have the same height or like shorter. I think the girl is shorter, I could be wrong. And this is her next to Minato. And see, Minato kind of towers her over her too. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Well, not cool. I keep saying cool, but you know, that's not very cool. But yeah, Trunks is around, around her height. So I guess it's okay. Yeah, poor Trunks. Trunks is really small. And here we have the Awakening Goku. Yeah, so yeah, she's very, very small. Not very, very small, but you know, she's on the smaller side. Alright, so here we have Gigio Kirito, and she's about, you know, her height, but Kirito is still a little taller. And here we have Makoto, definitely, like, taller by a lot, so, yeah. And let's check out some of the figures we have at the right side. And yeah, so you can tell she's quite small compared to a lot of the figures. Here we have next to Gohan, next to Piccolo, and you know, especially Hulk. And the Revolt Tech Date Masamune is like, you know, sitting down. Not sitting down, but crouching, but it's still. Here's Disappointment Naruto, and yeah, I don't know. She's pretty short. But I, I don't have a problem with it, because it's in scale. I'm pretty sure she's not tall, but she's not supposed to be tall. Alright, let's check out some of the other scales. And... Yeah, she's even shorter than Figma Gong from the Hunter x Hunter, I think. Um, They're about the same height, so I guess it's okay. And here's Skywalker, Kylo Ren, Obi-Wan, Kakashi behind there, yeah, Premium Color Edition, Vegeta, and yeah, she's about that size. So she's kind of on the smaller side. But yeah, that's pretty cool because it's in scale. I don't have too much problem with it. And it's really fun to pose with. All right, let's jump straight into the final thoughts. All right, so for the final thoughts, I do recommend the figure. And keep in mind, I have no attachment or anything to the character. I barely remember anything about Rema, but it's a really good figure. She came with a lot of stuff and she's really fun to pose with. Because of her size, it kind of feels like Bruce Lee when you're playing with it. Obviously not as good. But for instance, if I want to pose with this Gohan, it's going to be a little harder. Because, you know, obviously she's he's bigger and he's a little more stiff. But with this Rema, it's very, very easy to pose. And I like it. You're going to have fun with it. Like, kick, kick, and punch. Yeah, that's really, really cool. Like, comment, and subscribe. And do let me know what you think about the figure and just Rema in general. Because I'm not sure if I'm going to watch the anime again. I might get into the whole line, but yeah, who knows. Anyways, my name is Eric. I'll see you guys in the next review.